Time now for At the Market from Neiman's Family Market in St. Clair. At the Market is brought to you by CTV Community TV of Marine City in St. Clair. Fifth Third Bank, the Curious Bank. St. John's River District Hospital. And the Coast Guard Cutter Bramble, where tours are now available. Now let's join our host for this week's At the Market. Welcome to another edition of uh, At the Market. My name is Paul Dingerman, filling in for uh, Brian Neiman, uh, Martha Collins, or Kristen Bain. That's our main host for this year. They've been great. They'll be back uh, next week or the week after. Uh, we've got a special guest today from Catch 22 Bistro down in uh, Clay Township, and they've got a real good surprise for us right after this. At St. John Providence, we believe it's important to have things you can depend on like knowing you and your family have access to high quality care whenever you need it. That's why our nearly 1,000 primary care doctors offer same day appointments and why so many of them are available nights and weekends, which means that no matter where you are in Southeast Michigan, you're never far from care that focuses on the entire person, body, mind, and spirit. St. John Providence, believe in better. Challenge the clock. Challenge trends. Challenge gravity. <laughs> Challenge expectations. Challenge world records. Challenge the culture and the future. Challenge banking. We challenge ourselves to be curious about ideas that make banking better. We're Fifth Third Bank, the Curious Bank. Well, welcome back to At The Market. We are really pleased to have Bill from Catch-22 Bistro. Welcome back Paul, to good the to see you. At The Market Show. Nice to see you. Thanks. Thanks. You've got a, just a great restaurant. I, you know you see me I there. Do. You see I me do. there once I in do. a while. I do. There's so much memorabilia in it. Uh, let's, let's talk about how you guys got started, how long you've had it, that kind of well, stuff. We've had it for four years. Okay. Uh, the original owner, uh, Rocky, who used to be the uh, galley before that, okay. if, if I understand right, uh, he got all that memorabilia and it was all over, it was already on the wall. So we, uh, we originally were going to go in and remodel the whole thing. Oh, no, we no, no, no. Saw all that and we said, no, no we're not no, touching no, no, any no, of this no. stuff. So, for those so of, we did a couple of things and that was about it. <laughs> for those of you who might not have been to Catch 22 yet in Clay Township, right on M29, it is a collector's dream, a museum of Chris Craft memorabilia. There is uh, boats, pictures. Yeah, lots from, of great from pictures. Day on one, there, yeah. when Chris Craft uh, Marine was built, yeah. and it's all been preserved and all been saved. We have some real old pictures there too. Uh, people come in, they see their grandfather, yeah. great grandfather on there. Father sometimes, you know, they even borrow a couple of them here and there and get copies of them, you know. <laughs> Bill, talk to me about uh, the, the bistro. Uh, there's a bar on one side. Uh, there is. How many people can you see? Uh, we seat about 100, 110 in the place wow. if we were to get it all set at the same time. Uh, of course, it's never to maximum, but uh, usually about 80 to 100 people. It's not super, super big. Uh, and uh, yeah, that's we have Complete a full bar. Menu. We pretty much we, we, we make everything fresh to the order. And I think that's really our main thing. Everything is fresh to the order. Uh, we use uh, uh, as, as many local items as we can. And we, uh, we buy from local vendors. So a lot of that stuff uh, goes back into the community. And of course, we hire all the people yeah. are from that area. So I mentioned to you before we went on the air, one of the things that I've noticed in the times that I've been there is the wait staff and the bartenders and all those people have been there forever. I mean, yeah, that, you know, that we've been fortunate. highly of you Thank and you. also you. Of, of the way the place is run. Thank you very much. Uh, we, we just try to make a good environment for people to work in. I mean, we're not perfect, like everybody, you know. But well, my crew is perfect. Yeah, those guys are perfect. <laughs> those guys are definitely perfect. Right, right. But, uh, you know, so we, uh, they make pretty good money, I think, and uh, it's, it's a good atmosphere to work in. I think we try to make that, and, I mean, you know, we do the best we can. That's all we can do. You brought uh, along something today that you picked up here at the at Neiman's Family Market. Talk I to did. Me. I what, did. What, what's so your idea for today? I wanted to make something that people can make, basically from buying here at the at the grocery store. Okay. So if you were to come into the grocery store and you were to get a rotisserie chicken, for instance, oh, yes. which I most people do, it yep. happens all the time, right? Yep. So if you were to take a, a rotisserie chicken and you can get either healthy or you know as flavorful as you'd like, right. we we'll use that right. for the other term. But let's just say that you want to use all white meat in your you're just really healthy, you want to eat very healthy. So you just take a little bit of that white meat and shred it up a little bit, just okay. chop it up like that. 
And I'm just going to use the top of this container right now because I only brought one bowl. <laughs> let's, put her, let's put her in the middle here, then we can get a good shot. So we're going to take some maple or some uh, ch sweet chili sauce and then put a little habanero. So it's sweet, uh, it's not hot. So, no, it's, it's a little bit spicy because we put oh. a little habanero in there as well. Okay. So we're going to put some of that in there right and then we're just going to mix that up. Okay. And that'll give us our sweetness. Mm. Here we go. So we're just going to let it sit in there a for a little bit, yeah. right? Oh, yeah. yeah. Put a little, there's a little habanero in there as well. Okay. So then we're going to make, uh, we're going to make the radish salad. So this is a salad that goes on top of the, uh, uh, excuse me, the, uh, the tacos. Okay. <laughs> I had a little brain malfunction well, there for a second. I have those every day, <laughs> many times a day. So if you'd like to, you use flour tortillas is how I would go with it. But if you're gluten-free, you can use uh, corn tortillas. Okay. But what you want to do is warm a pan up and uh, put them in the pan. Just get them a little dark on either side. Uh, you can even put them over an open flame for a second or two, right? Okay. So then Move once that that's done like that, uh, this has been uh, marinating for a few seconds. Just take this, put the chicken right in there. Put the chicken right up on top of there. We'll just let that sit for a minute. Okay. Now we're going to make that salad. Okay. So we're going to chop up some radishes. Right. Okay. So just chop them up. Green onions. Okay. You're going to take about a half a lime. If you want, you can pop it in a microwave for about 10 seconds. It'll soften it up and let the juices come out. We're just going to squeeze that right in there. Squeeze that in there. So you got lime and lime. I'm going to use radishes. the whole thing this time, only because we're not going to get a lot of juice out of it, mm -hmm. like if we were to microwave it. Right? And then a pinch of sea salt. Take a little pinch of sea salt there. Just a pinch. Just a pinch. Move that all around like that. You can let it sit around for a day or a couple hours. You know, the next day it'd be just fine because it'll actually marinate in there. Mm -hmm. then you take that, put that right on top like this. Oh, well, that looks very colorful. It's very colorful and it tastes fantastic. Use, uh, and then see, we see take a little. in a lot of things? I not really, I'll be I'm honest with you. A lot that. of times I don't see that very often. So then you take a little feta cheese. You can get the crumbled stuff if you'd like. And then you just crumble it right on top. And there you go, very you simple, go. very quick. You can buy everything in the grocery store here. It's a two second meal. Right. And it's fantastic. Now, is this, it. Is this wrap kind up of thing on the, this not on the menu? This is on the menu, actually. Oh, we, run it it, we have been running it as an uh, appetizer special. Uh, it was created by Ed Lynch, one of our chefs over at uh, Catch 22. And uh, we serve it all the time. We've been serving it for the last month or so. Oh, my God. And it's been fantastic, but a huge hit. Let's talk about the, uh, the menu that you've got. You've got a huge menu. Uh, and you've got everything from prime ribs to... Yeah, yeah, we do. Uh, we went with a bistro on this location rather than a steakhouse like we have in, in Shelby Township. Uh, Let's stop right there. The okay. Shelby Township <laughs> store just got some notoriety. What's we did, on? we did. We just, uh, we were uh, uh, just nominated uh, Best Steakhouse in Macomb County by uh, Metro uh, Times Best Magazine. Steakhouse Best Steakhouse in, in Macomb, Macomb County. County. Yeah, That's huge. Yeah. It's huge. Especially we didn't solicit it, yeah, so that's yeah, even more. Yeah. You know, so it was fantastic. Right. So we we're very on, we're honored to have been uh, chosen for that. So uh, this uh, uh, Thursday morning, I'll be on Channel Two, okay. doing a little thing for that as well. And then uh, Friday, they're having a promotion, a promotional party for all the winners, and we'll be down there serving some food there as well. Beautiful, yeah. beautiful. Kind of what we're doing here today. Okay. Uh, I've lost where I was at, but uh, okay, let's talk about hours menu. and days and menu, yeah. Yeah, uh, so we're going to go now to our win to our summer hours, excuse me, so uh, we'll be open from 11 o'clock, uh, Monday through Friday, we open at 11 until 10 o'clock, and then Saturday, uh, 12 o'clock until 11 o'clock, and then Sunday, 12 to 9. 12 to 9. Yeah. That's a lot of hours. A lot yeah, of hours. yeah, yeah. But. Every time I've gone there, the people, leave are, are, people leaving are happy. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah. We sure do hope so. We work real hard at trying to do the best we can, you know. I mean, we, we stay within our comfort zones with everything that we do. Uh, we try to get as creative as we can. But it's always fresh. Mm -hmm. It's always made to order. And that's probably our number one thing. I think that's really what even all these uh, shows that people go in and these chefs go in and they fix these places up. It's right. always keep it simple, fresh, to the order. And that's really what we do, and it's worked very well for us. Right. It's been a winner. All right, so uh, we're going to serve this up to the crew. Great. Is anybody hungry out there? Yeah, yeah they're all good. Nah. Lex Lexi's always hungry. 
<laughs> we'll make a couple more for them here we'll in make a second. Make a couple too, more yeah. for them, okay. Bill, thank you much. We'll be down to see you again. Pleasure. Always a pleasure. Thank you. Catch 22 Bistro on uh, uh, M29 in Clay Township. You can't miss it, and uh, it'll be worth your, worth your ride. We'll be back with the uh, Port Huron Chamber of Commerce. Thelma will be along, and we'll find out what's happening all summer long coming up in Port Huron. Right back. Okay. The retired United States Coast Guard Cutter Bramble is now open for tours seven days a week. Docked at the Port Huron Seaway Terminal Bean Dock, the U.S. Coast Guard Bramble has tours daily from 10 a.m. till 4 p.m. General admission gives you basic access to the ship, $8 for adults, $6 for seniors and under 18. The Commandant's Gold Pass gives you a historical, full access guided tour, $12 for adults, $10 for seniors and under 18. Don't miss the Bramble's special Memorial Day Remembrance coming up the end of May. Come tour the White Portuguese as seen in the Batman vs. Superman Down of Justice movie, Delivering the Kryptonite. Sometimes asking for help is the hardest thing you can do, but it is the most important step toward recovery. St. Clair County Community Mental Health provides publicly funded mental health services for adults and children with mental illnesses, developmental disabilities, substance use disorders, or serious emotional disturbances. Call the access line toll free at 888-225-4447, 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. St. Clair County Community Mental Health, promoting opportunities for discovery and recovery. Welcome back, and uh, we're glad that you're here on At The Market. Paul Dingeman is my name. Uh, our normal host, well, I don't think they're too normal, but uh, <laughs> our regular host, uh, uh, Brian Neiman, uh, uh, Kristen Bain from uh, Schoolhouse uh, Grill, uh, uh, Martha Collins from River Crab. They will be back in the next few weeks. I am uh, filling in today, and we're glad that you're here. We are honored to have with us from the uh, Blue Water Chamber of Commerce, Thelma Castillo. Nice, nice to, to see meet you, you, Paul. Welcome back. Thank you. You were here a year ago. A year it's, or so hard, ago. it's hard to believe, isn't it? Hard to it? believe that a whole year has gone by. You've got a major chamber of commerce that just does so much stuff. We better, we thought we better get you in here to, to you know, bring we, us up to date. We have been doing quite a bit, Paul, since the last time I came here. We've added a number of programs, whether okay. it's leadership programs, advocacy programs, or just programs in general that will actually help our members grow and be prosperous. And you know, we're all about connecting them to the right people and getting their business to grow. That's what we're all about. Where does your uh, Blue Water Chamber cover? Is there a geographic you know, area? Yeah, we have most of St. Clair County up to St. Clair because St. Clair has their own chamber. Marine City's got and, one. And Marine City has one, and we honor those boundaries. Right. You know, we don't go into those areas, but if people want to join us, obviously we're going to want them to join. But we work very closely with St. Clair and Marine City. And then we go as far north as Lexington. Oh, are really? And we really work with the Lexington Croswell Chamber as well. So we have a fairly large uh, footprint. And so sometimes it can be a little challenging because it's so large. What kind of uh, programs do you offer? We have we just had LeaderCast uh, okay. last Friday, which allowed a lot of people to hear from national speakers. Oh. Um, it was a simulcast presentation, but it was an amazing opportunity to hear from speakers that they would have had the chance to. We had the Attorney General in just a few yep. uh, weeks ago. He came and visited our area and then met with some of the business people as well. We had uh, the publisher from Cranes Detroit just in, in April as well, Mary Kramer, and mm -hmm. she also got the opportunity to speak to the business community and interact with them and give them ideas of how we could grow. Yeah, those kinds of speakers just don't come in, so it takes somebody like you guys to, to coordinate it and pull a group together to make it worth it worthwhile for them to come in. Yeah, you know, it's, really it's really about the relationships that you build. Mm -hmm. And if you have those relationships and people respect you and respect the organization, you will get results. You so many active things from uh, from now through okay. August in uh, Port Huron. Yes. Uh, you're involved in most of those, aren't yes. you? Yes. Yes, we are. Uh, we have our golf outing coming up in June. Always a fun time All to right. come out and play. Uh, we have the Blue Water Fest happening in July. We're also a part of that. We don't run that festival, but we work with the people that are involved with that. There's all kinds of things going on like Art Hop and yep. Main Street type programs that we're engaged with and making sure that our community continues to grow. We're involved with Sandfest and, and all the other, and the power, boat, the power boats and races and there's just so much going on. And of course Mackinac. 
Yep, and then we have the uh, boat races from Mackinac to Port here, Port here into Mackinac. Do you remember the dates off the top of your head? Yep, it's that? the actual, the Rotary Parade is July 13th, that's okay. the Wednesday, kicks off the event, and then the actual race is on the 16th Saturday. Okay, and right through August there's the auto show, or the uh, car, car uh, We have a couple of car shows actually coming to town this year. Uh, we have one in June, that will be right downtown. And then we have another one in July, at the end of July. It's another car show. And then you also have the one in Fort Gratiot in June. And then you also have the one in Marysville that will be in August. So if you are a person who cars. likes cars, there's going to be four opportunities to display your cars. If people need more information about the, the Blue Water Chamber of Commerce, not necessarily, it's not called Port Huron, it's Blue Water. Right. Uh, do you have a website or what? Yep, we do have a website. We also have a phone number. It's 810-985-7101. Or just go to our website, www.bluewaterchamber.com. Okay, beautiful. Well, did we miss anything? I think we covered it all. It's a lot of stuff happening. Just come out. We have business networking meetings every month. We have them in the morning. We have them in the evening. A lot of fun. A lot of new businesses coming to our things. And I think you'd be pleasantly surprised. Even if you're not a member, Please join us. Yeah. You never know. You might, you might want to might, become right, one. Right, right. Okay. Good seeing you again. Thank you, Pop. Have a great summer. That's about it for uh, this edition of uh, At the Market. Uh, next week, Todd May, the world famous Todd May from Sweet Tooth, will be along. So if you like chocolate and like uh, fun and frivolity, Todd will be here to show that to you. Till next time, Paul Dingaman. See you soon. So now, what do you guys do? You go back and you. You've been watching At The Market from Neiman's Family Market in St. Clair. At The Market is brought to you by CTV Community TV of Marine City and St. Clair. Fifth Third Bank, The Curious Bank, St. John's River District Hospital, and the Coast Guard Cutter Bramble where tours are now available. Join us again soon for another At The Market.